about the money, money, money. Hi, hi guys. Welcome to We'll Need More Tea with Jasmine. Jasmine is me. And today we are talking about money, money. Following up from last week's conversation or last time's conversation on goals concerning money, we are still picking up that conversation and talking about some more money. You need to change the channel, Twitter will need some more money. Yeah, that will work. Have a nice thing to it. Yeah, we're going to need more mula or something. We're going to need more money. <laughs> yes, and today I'm joined by George and Dirango, who's going to take us through some really interesting conversations. But before that, I'll allow you to introduce yourself. Right. Tell us your name, which I've already said, right. <laughs> what you do, and what your favorite meal is. Okay. Um, George Dirango. I am a left-handed um, exhorter. Exhorter what? is an encourager, someone who brings light. Exhorter? Yes. Interesting. Also encourager. Could use that you do that. You haven't encouraged me for a single minute today. Um, do you have like 15 minutes to spare? <laughs> for encouragement. <laughs> we'll <fix it. laughs> okay. Yes. And um, so, yeah, basically bringing light to situations. Yeah. Um, Presently centered around uh, money, okay. um, financial services, mm -hmm. and just loving, giving, helping people achieve dignity in as far as finances is concerned. Interesting. My favorite meal, uh, and it's very basic, mm -hmm. um, my ugali beef fry with kunde. I'm a boy. Kunde. Yeah, kunde is some kind of green thing. Okay. Yeah. I I am embarrassed to healthy. say that I <laughs> I'm not sure what kunde is. I just know okay. it's green but anyway let me stop embarrassing myself <laughs> in right. this conversation. <laughs> Welcome to We'll Need More Tea. Thank you. Um yeah so we are talking about money. Right. We we'll get right into it. Right. So starting next month, which is well in a few days yes. from when this is being yes. shot. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Kenyans are to face new or rather increased NSSF de deductions, Correct. which is part of a five-year plan mm -hmm. by NSSF to, you know, be increasing the deductions daily and also part of, you know, the president's, you know, idea to increase, um, I don't know, NSSF so, collections. Mm -hmm. I, I think, is it to a trillion by 2027? Right, you're doing very well. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to come, become you. <laughs> Yeah. I did my research. Well done. Yeah. Mm. So, so what does this mean? What are these new calculations? Mm. And mm. Um, yeah, maybe you can take us through that and tell us what what that means okay. and the amount. All right. For context, mm -hmm. um, in 2013, mm -hmm. there was an act that was um, put together. It actually predates the current administration, mm. though you could say it was involved in one way or the other. Yeah. Then. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but there's you know, somebody else in charge. So what it said then, mm -hmm. um, and like you correctly said, is to try and increase the amount of money people contribute towards mm -hmm. pension yeah. um, and retirement for yeah, that matter. Yeah. So basically bringing or ensuring people have dignified lives after they've worked for X number of years. Yeah. So their idea was to um, deduct mm -hmm. a percentage based on your earnings. Because previously, mm -hmm. it was only 200 bob that was deducted on your pay stick. For everybody? Pennies. Yeah, across the board. Ah, yeah. okay. And it wasn't, so what will happen, you know, after a X number of years, mm -hmm. you may or may not have had your parents complain, you know, you get 50,000. What are you supposed to do that? Mm. Probably buy a phone. And you've you worked know. for so many and years. And that's it, yeah. yes. So to peg the contribution towards um, the earnings. Yeah. Now, the Kenyans, went to court mm -hmm. and stopped uh, that act from being enforced. In 2013? In 2013. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, however, last year, mm -hmm. uh, it was ruled um, um, you know, in favor of the act, mm -hmm. and now the deductions kicked in from February last mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. And like you said, rightfully, it's, it was agreed to be gradual. Mm -hmm. So it's based on um, average earnings. Um, estimated average earning mm -hmm. as of 2013, mm -hmm. which was found then mm -hmm. to be 36,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. So on average, Kenyans were earning 36,000 36, shillings. shillings. Yeah. So that became what the deductions were to be based. Okay. Started off at 50%. Mm -hmm. uh, the second year, it was going to be 100%, meaning 36. 
thousand and then from next year mm -hmm. to go to two times mm -hmm. what the average national mm -hmm. okay. so it will be increasing mm. so and next year maybe <coughs> in january again february so go next year <coughs> it increases correct. they are the, the same okay correct uh, and then that means um, now it's an important conversation to have mm. because um, the law also allows a, part, a portion mm -hmm. of what is being deducted on pay slips mm -hmm. to be pushed to a private fund manager mm. and not necessarily as NSF. Meaning, um, so out of a contribution, mm -hmm. say of um, so the, 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 it's graduated is tier one and tier two. I actually wanted to ask <coughs> about tier one and tier two. Tax, yeah. yeah. So there's the lower earning limits, mm -hmm. you know, like the bare minimum wage mm -hmm. in Kenya, which is seven thousand. Again, based mm -hmm. on that twenty thirteen. Mm -hmm. Before uh, it was six thousand, now it's seven thousand. Yeah. Yeah. So now mm -hmm. it has gone to seven thousand. Yeah. Again, because it's it's going to be gradually increasing mm -hmm. it's based on 2013 mm -hmm. yeah because you know labor day mm -hmm. <coughs> we don't pay attention you know but one of the things that happens is like our minimum wage is normally mm -hmm. declared mm -hmm. you know where the bare minimum which okay. also right now is probably about 15k mm -hmm. yeah so anyway going back to tier one so that is for the lower earning limit mm -hmm. so it's um uh, which is working out to 840 now. 840. So, yeah. so okay. that is the one, that's a deduction. That's the one that was 6,000, mm -hmm. it's presently 7,000. Yes, yes. But mm -hmm. for anybody earning 36,000 and mm -hmm. above, mm -hmm. um, you have an opportunity to contract out, because that's an English word, mm -hmm. meaning to opt out of NSSF mm -hmm. <coughs> and have that money, 3,480, mm -hmm. managed by Jubilee or I see a Britam, one of these the private professional, fashion. exactly. Mm -hmm. Why that is important, you mm -hmm. said the, um, we're speaking with the youth, mm -hmm. is because it's not about retirement, mm -hmm. per se, but it's about mobility. Mm -hmm. We have job mobility, people leave one um, employer for another. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and if you are not ready, remember mm -hmm. I was fired um, not too long ago, okay, some years ago. George. <laughs> no, I was, I was, uh, and then I'm, I'm very, um, I, was, I was really tired, uh -huh. so it worked out very well for yeah. both of us. Mm. Mm. So my player fired me and I got the freedom mm -hmm. that I desired, <laughs> but mm -hmm. since I wasn't ready, yeah. um, so I had to use my pension contribution, yeah. because the law says uh, I can access 50% half. So let me take you back a bit. Yeah. So we have tier one and tier two. Correct. So uh, tier one goes to NSSF. That's one mandatory. Is tier yes. two what goes to the private pension scheme? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, fantastic. Yes. So um, what happens in the case where there is no private pension scheme? Oh, so if you don't opt out, mm -hmm. <coughs> that means all this money. Oh, so you have to NSSF. opt out first, eh? Yeah, it's a Otherwise, choice. it's all going to go to yeah. NSSF. It goes all okay. of it by okay. default. Okay. But um, mm -hmm. I'm old enough to remember um, vividly mm -hmm. scandals of that body, mm -hmm. you know, uh, buying quarries as, uh, I don't know, prime land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They have a building uh, in town which was supposed to cost you know, X, and you ended up costing 4X. Mm -hmm. So there's some history of not very good decisions, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, so for that reason, mm -hmm. the opportunity is to talk to your HR, talk mm -hmm. to whoever it is, mm -hmm. um, to have that money contracted out because mm. you can okay so it's my it's my j it's my job as an employee to do that absolutely well for employees so the the organization mm -hmm. mostly it's it's falling on the hr department mm -hmm. um and mm -hmm. uh, there's no money required mm -hmm. so it's a move that can happen easily ah, okay and why it's important mm -hmm. uh, like yeah I said, why why do i do i really need that and if i do why i can tell you why because mm -hmm. the pension that goes to NSF mm -hmm. is only accessible when you're 60. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I see. But the one that goes to a private company mm -hmm. How can be accessed uh -huh. anytime, you know. So if oh. I'm working somewhere and next year I decide I want to do my own gig mm -hmm. and I've resigned, mm -hmm. half of what I have in pension is yeah. available for me to oh. buy cameras and sound equipment Fantastic. and so okay. on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Because you know about, um, ideally you shouldn't, mm -hmm. but then you're not going to die mm -hmm. because, you know, you're saving. And you have money somewhere. Yeah, yeah. to get to 60 or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. So that is the that is the light that we are shining mm -hmm. there to 
um, yeah. So okay. That's, it's opportunity. Okay, that's fantastic mm. and important knowledge that I think everybody should have. Um, right. Okay, interesting. So what is uh, what is a turnaround time in case of retirement? Or it may be somebody is fired. Right. What is a turnaround time? Excellent. Uh, that's a very good question. Mm -hmm. So pensions in general are governed mm -hmm. by a regulator, Retirement Benefits Authority. Mm -hmm. And the timeline given to settle pension benefits mm -hmm. is 30 days. Mm, yeah, okay. 30 days. Mm -hmm. So that means, I, I remember uh, a bro my brother, a younger brother, mm -hmm. who was terminated um, at work because they lost, the car was stolen, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. it was a company car, oh, it was gone. Sad. And it was in the dark days, mm -hmm. but the RBA was in place by then. Mm -hmm. um, so they, of course he lost his job and they wanted to dock his benefits mm -hmm. because, you know, the vehicle was supposed to be under his care. Mm -hmm. Quite interesting because it was an insurance company. Imagine they should have insured it in the mm -hmm. first place. Mm -hmm. um, but we engaged RBA and they did not deduct a cent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, and that's the beauty, to be in a scheme mm -hmm. that is governed by RBA. And here's a fun fact mm -hmm. NSSF is not governed by RBA. You're kidding. Yeah, it's, um, it's a. Is it regulated? It's not regulated by no. RBA. It's not. It's, it's uh, you know, because it's big, and RBA came and found it there. Is that so not those things. I'll let you answer that, or <laughs> the audience can. Okay, that's, that's a scary <laughs> fact, guys. What? Yeah. Mm. So regulated. Mm. Okay. Yeah, they're quite big, I guess. It's your... Yeah? Nia ni damaka, what? All right, your stukadin bantu. Yeah, okay. so you're asking about turnaround time, so it's 30 days uh -huh. um, tops, okay. 30 days. After that, you lodge your complaint mm -hmm. and there's no fund manager who wants to be on social media okay. that, you know, they're not paying and then they have the money anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Having been in this industry for a while, I'm, I'm right. curious, um, mm -hmm. what is my money doing mm -hmm. while, while I'm contributing, during the contribution time, before I get mm -hmm. it, because I mean it's... A couple of times right. like right now i'm in my mid-20s right? right uh if i'm to contribute if i'm to start my contributions maybe now i have like another let's say 30 years right. to be contributing right. that time what is my money doing where is it it's being invested uh -huh. it's being invested so um with nsf what goes to nsf so hopefully they buy government bonds which mm -hmm. makes sense yeah um so they get a return yeah um they buy land they've developed biggest is like um Ebakasi. Mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it's part of the they need they developed and sold and it's beautiful and it makes sense mm -hmm. uh, private companies do the same thing mm -hmm. so they invest mm -hmm. so it's not a um, they invest, they make a return, so by the time they're declaring an interest, which they do every year, mm -hmm. if you see a 10%, yeah. uh, that probably means they did 16, mm -hmm. yeah, because they're not charity. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, But um, you're getting a return and your money is compounded, okay. so you're deploying the power of compounding. Mm. Now, in the fullness of time, mm -hmm. um, because uh, I'm on this show because I have a young voice, so in the fullness of time, you yeah. know, um, that time actually gets there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm shocked because I remember how we've clubbed in this city, <laughs> you know, and then now I'm the new old people. <laughs> you know, it comes like in, in a flash. City. Yeah, in the same city, yeah. you know, and um, uh, so the point I'm making. Is it appears far fetched out there, yeah. but the whole idea of pension mm -hmm. is about smooth consumption mm. so that you don't work for Microsoft or you're working your own gigs mm -hmm. and you're earning $2,000 every mm -hmm. And then when you grow older and there are younger developers or mm -hmm. people who are able to turn around the work faster yeah. than you, yeah. then you have to change your lifestyle mm. because of the falling income. No, you want to have smooth consumption so that when you're 50, mm -hmm. you're an elderly lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you show up at the oh, there's an elderly lady I should see, and not an old woman. <laughs> and the difference is money. Money makes a difference. That's I a difference. agree with you. You've, mm. um, you, well, assuming um, mm -hmm. I take the 
there is a private pension Correct. funds. Um, what what does that money do? Does it is it still investing? It is invested. So the fund manager will be investing on your behalf. Am I am I private to that information on yes, the you investments? Have, you have your, no. Well, uh, good question. Do they share? I guess you could get it, mm -hmm. but really the measure mm -hmm. is their performance. Ah, their performance. So every year okay. in March, mm -hmm. by law, they must declare mm -hmm. what the interest rate was for okay. the previous year. Mm -hmm. And we have these 20 year records, so mm -hmm. it's very easy to see. So, what happens if they are making losses? You can move your pension. You're not oh, yeah. stuck. It's not an abusive relationship. No, oh, yeah. you can move. Oh, yeah. You can move your uh -huh. pension from one fund manager to, other, to okay. the other. So we are saying not toxic relationship. Absolutely Even in no. pension. Absolutely. <laughs> Nowhere. She not tolerate mediocrity. Uh -huh. Because the truth is, and that's a valid point you mm. raised, there are yeah. managers who post 4%. Yeah. And the same market, mm -hmm. same in assets, mm -hmm. another manager has done 11%. Mm -hmm. So what that yeah. means is mm -hmm. this manager and the shareholders, they are mean, they've made the same 16%, yeah. but these ones are mean and they've only oh. released four uh -huh. and then they sit on the 12. Okay. Yeah. So we really so need to really look at how it's doing and... Absolutely. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And it's available on your phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sure you have a manager who has, you know, records that mm -hmm. you can check on an app. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here is um, <clears throat> my final question. Right. Now on the same on the private uh, pension funds. Huh? Right. Is my money safe? And is it guaranteed that the money is safe? So the law mm -hmm. um, requires mm -hmm. that uh, each company um, has four hundred million as the uh, capital mm -hmm. that must be funded. Mm -hmm. Now for a company to consider a company to be safe, mm -hmm. um, they need to be at 200% mm -hmm. of that number. Oh. Yes. Okay. Because that in, what that means That's in what English. That's what 800 million? Yes, 800 okay. million. Well mm -hmm. So what that means in English is that when you require money, mm -hmm. they will have the capacity to pay. So that is one. Mm -hmm. The other is the return, mm -hmm. a guarantee on the return, which we've said is 5%. Mm -hmm. And um, finally, ideally, a fund manager who is listed on the Nairobi Exchange, mm -hmm. Nairobi Stock Exchange. Okay. Why that is important mm -hmm. is because then their information is in the public domain. Okay. Yeah. So if they lose money, mm -hmm. you'll actually know because mm -hmm. it will be there. Okay. They need to, being a public company, mm -hmm. they need to be clear this mm -hmm. money was lost. Okay. Okay. And what mitigation they have. If they are firing their, um, you know, group MD, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. again, it will be there uh, and how that affects the company. As opposed to a privately owned company mm -hmm. where you don't know what's going on and mm -hmm. you'll be surprised in You're March. You're not to any information. Yeah, when they're declaring and so that was 4% okay. uh, because there was a big claim for an helicopter <laughs> that crashed. <laughs> I mean, these are the these are the things. stories that, yeah, that are, come up. Yeah. Okay. So those three. Mm -hmm. So the capital consideration, mm -hmm. eight hundred million, mm -hmm. needs to be there. Yeah. The kind of return mm -hmm. historically and what guarantee return they have. Yeah. And if it's listed, that will be great. Nairobi. Those three. Okay. Yeah, Nairobi stock, stock exchanges. exchanges. That will be uh, a real good indicator. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, I know I said that was the last question, but let's wrap up with this. What would you say or would you advise a young person to think about when they are thinking about their future mm -hmm. in terms of finances? Maybe you can tell us two things that you feel in your experience and mm -hmm. exposure right. somebody should consider when thinking about their future financially. All right. Um, start small. Mm -hmm. No, let me speak correctly. Mm. Think big, mm -hmm. start small, oh, awesome. start now. Mm. Think big, start small, start now. Start now. Mm -hmm. The other thing that is very, very important mm -hmm. is to automate mm -hmm. your saving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they must be automatic. Okay. If you're employed, mm -hmm. um, you can have a check off. A check off is mm -hmm. basically a child knocking off whatever saving you want to save mm -hmm. from your pay slip before. Mm -hmm it gets to your account. Oh, so that's okay. very effective. Mm -hmm. The Kenya government collects pay as you earn. It's the most compliant tax mm -hmm. because it's taken at source. Yeah. You know. Um, SACO is also, you know, successful on that because mm -hmm. they take money at source. Yeah. So if I purpose to build capital to, I don't know, um, buy some piece of land somewhere, mm -hmm. um, then I should make it automatic okay so speak to each other mm -hmm. they can't refuse if they don't agree mm -hmm. then automate through your bank mm -hmm. bank meaning so if i'm paid at i don't know stanley mm -hmm. uh, and that's where 
my account is mm -hmm. and my pay hits the account normally by the third day of the month. Mm -hmm. So just have a sign on that, you know, on the fifth day, push this 5,000 towards, mm. you know, then you've automated it. Because if it's not automated, then it won't happen. Yeah, you're yeah. likely to not save it, it at all. It won't happen. Okay. Yeah. All right. And look at KRA, they're very mm. successful. They know. Yeah. And the government. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> let's do what works. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Start. Right. Something big, start small. Start now. Start now. Awesome. Mm. Thank you. This has been amazing, informative, so glad to have you. Um, you have a lot of wisdom and nuggets. If we want to get some of that from you, or maybe some of our viewers want to get some right. of that, how do they get to you? So, <laughs> you can we explain. Have a, we have a contact, <laughs> we have a, a mind WhatsApp number, <laughs> um, which is um, 0722 mm -hmm. 0722 um, In terms of socials, uh, yeah. <laughs> On the next episode, we'll, we'll have yeah, socials we'll, we'll up have and socials, running. Yeah. <laughs> It's there, but mm -hmm. it's scandalous. No, it's, it's in okay. my name. No, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, want to, I want to keep my, you know, creating yeah. a pseudonym and I don't know. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Calling out people okay. since 1923. <laughs> yeah, let's use a number. It's also a best app, so if you feel like you want to, <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> All right. We, we could always use more, more tea. tea. For sure, we tea. could. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. George, it was great having you. Right. Hoping to have you a lot more. Absolutely. Awesome. Right. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot of things like I did. I, I mean, this has been informative and amazing. So I hope to catch you on the next episode as you keep setting your goals and yeah, making your money count. Bye. <laughs>